Every day, a human river of between three and 5,000 migrants passes through a small indigenous hamlet in the Darien jungle. They're close to the end of a treacherous journey through the 130-kilometer-long Darien Gap. Five long days, indicates Christopher. They brave scorching heat, mud, mosquitoes, poisonous snakes, contaminated river water, and bandits. Our group was robbed at gunpoint. They took all our money and food. They freaked the women's chest to see if we were hiding our money there. We're joining this group on the last leg of their jungle crossing. You may wonder how all of these people don't get lost in the jungle, something that is so easy to do. And the reason that they don't, or at least the majority of them don't, is that they're told to follow these markers. They're blue, pieces of blue plastic that serve as ribbons, and they go all the way down outside of this jungle. Everyone holds hands to improve balance while crossing the river into Bajo Chiquito. Omar Antonio Zambrano carried his handicapped son the entire journey. He says he had to leave Venezuela because there are no anti-convulsion drugs there for his son Juan Diego. The baby who's being treated right now is suffering from diarrhea, vomiting and fever. But he's not the only one. Just about everyone who's come here to this health center has exactly the same symptoms or even worse. No one comes out of the jungle with nothing unscathed. Just outside, a woman screams in pain as another Venezuelan migrant, a male nurse, treats her for trench foot. Scores of people can barely walk anymore. Mario tells me he is traumatized. On the way, I saw a Venezuelan woman with her baby die after she fell into the water when she slipped on a rock. Too many people are dying in that jungle. It's hell on earth. The next morning, the migrants form an endless line to get a seat on a piragua, a long canoe-like boat that will bring them three hours downriver to a town where they can get a bus to the Costa Rica border. The majority are Venezuelans, but it's becoming more like the United Nations. People have come from as far away as China, the Middle East, and Africa, also hoping to make it to the United States. As they leave, a new group arrives. They seem to think that if they could have survived the Darien Gap, they'll also cross the U.S. border, even though, objectively, the worse could still be ahead. To see a Newman Al Jazeera, Darien Gap, Panama. And now, here's John Holman. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.